Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Yang Hong. You can call me Eric. This is my 10th year at OU. And after uh, my uh, tenure at uh, California and uh, NASA Goddard, I'm so excited to talk about the uh, hydrology and the water security program at OU. I will uh, cover some water education, research, and uh, outreach. Well, uh, the goal of uh, hydrology water security program at OU is to capitalize and uh, pursue excellence. OU's uh, uh, water education, research, and, uh, and outreach. I will talk about the first component of this uh, program, it's uh, education. So we started the online master program. This uh, online master program is uh, jointly uh, sponsored and also partnership between uh, four departments, the uh, School of Civil Engineering and the Environment Science, which is uh, my academic home, and the School of Meteorology, the Department of uh, Geography and the Environmental Sustainability, and also the School of uh, Geology and the Geophysics. They are coming from three different colleges, and uh, we have uh, two tracks. One is hydrology, more technical track. The other one is uh, uh, water security track more into uh, water uh, policy, water law, water economics, and uh, water sustainability. So uh, this is this online program. Uh, the 32 credit hour designed to be uh, comp comp uh, finished uh, in uh, 21 months, while uh, they can still work uh, full time jobs. So it's for a uh, um, uh, full-time job uh, employee in uh, many places, not, not on campus or ground-based program. And this, this program provides the uh, interdisciplinary lens to issues re related to water and the water securities. And we students with uh, different background from uh, Bachelor of Science, even Bachelor of uh, Arts, and Hydrology, engineer, ge geology, uh, computer science, physics, environment science, and many. Uh, we have students from political science background, so this is a very uh, interdisciplinary uh, programs. And again, a student can pursue t two different degree track option. Uh, hydrology track is more technical. This track uh, are launched just this fall, uh, 2018. We have a first. Uh, cohort students, uh, 20 students. And uh, we'll kick off the water security track uh, uh, program. And uh, by end of 2019, uh, we'll have uh, 75 to 100 uh, graduate students for this, this program. Well, uh, since I only have uh, nine minutes, if you want to know more about this program, you can go to this website, it's ouhydrologyonline.com. And we also have the Facebook, uh, Facebook uh, uh, account. Well, let me uh, switch gear to uh, to research. The uh, research grand challenge for our program is to first, how can we uh, observe, either from in situ or from uh, radar or satellite, different platforms. Then we are able to understand. And uh, finally, we are able to predict the, uh, the, the storage movement and the uh, quality of water uh, across the whole water cycles at a different space and time scale under uh, changing climate. So basically, the research we are doing is uh, from data observation to uh, understanding uh, theory models and all the way up to the predictions for societal benefits. So it's from data end to application and framework. Uh, the uh, core uh, research uh, expertise from our program is uh, we're working on the uh, synergy of uh, remote sensing, either from radar or from satellite, then uh, applica applica uh, application to water, weather, and the climate. And our observation and the modeling uh, scale at uh, point, local, state, regional, and all the way to uh, global scales. So we're working on hydrology and water resources. 
and uh, natural hazards prediction, especially uh, like too much water flooding, too little water droughts, and some other water related uh, disasters like landslides. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, the data observation uh, aspects were uh, measure, retrieval, validate, and apply the uh, rainfall, soil moisture, and evapotranspiration from remote sensing to uh, different uh, research applications. And the hydrometeorology, radar meteorology, and the radar hydrology are also our strengths. And data simulation system for water and uh, climate prediction, and the water availability, how much water available, and there's a hydrological extreme occurrence in the future under uh, change, changing uh, climate. Well, uh, there are just a few uh, projects undergoing uh, from our uh, program, the, the National Science Foundation PIRE, which is uh, a five million project, uh, timing water in uh, Africa, uh, interdisciplinary approach to improve the uh, human security in a water-dependent emerging region. And funded by NASA and USID while working on uh, communication and the forecasting water related hazards in Africa and uh, develop improved prediction of inland flooding systems. Um, those projects, I will just give a few examples. Uh, we're integrating uh, space and the ground uh, 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 major uh, networks, measurement networks, and uh, our faculty will talk about more later. Pierre will talk about this project. Now, from the modeling uh, uh, aspect, where we have developed the CREST EF5 uh, distributed hydrological models, which is designed to take advantage of uh, global <coughs> forcing data from a satellite, from global uh, f uh, climate and weather models. Then we apply this model to a uh, global and regional scales. Uh, for example, we are able to uh, simulate and predict the water dynamics, the stream flows uh, cross global at a relatively high resolution, at a 500 meter and, and a one kilometer resolutions. At a regional scale, we are funded by NOAA National Weather Service and the Congress. We developed this uh, iCRI slide, which is a US uh, <coughs> NFL. <laughs> it's not football. It's uh, the national flash flood and the landslide systems. So using the 250 meter, 2.5 meters forcing data from the radar network, uh, force the hydrological model across the uh, uh, North America at the one kilometer and the 250 meter resolutions and every five minutes temporal resolutions. Then at even finer resolution, six meter to 10 meter, we're looking at the, uh, the US, uh, the, uh, the, the land subsidence or landslides or wildfire caused uh, landslides issues. Well, just give you a quick example. We're doing this uh, uh, very high resolution, storm scale, five minutes, 250 meter water dynamic simulation. This is stream flow, uh, surface runoff across uh, Los Americas. And uh, we're also working on climate change impact on water resources and the hydrologi hydrological extremes. For example, uh, this project looking at the future, uh, future climate, how our urban flooding uh, situations, given the uh, tropical storm, the hurricane uh, intensification, and how the, the, the urban design, how uh, we can visualize and predict the resilience. All right, final is the outreach. We, uh, our research and uh, have been implemented in many places in the world, in Africa, in South Asia, in Central and South America. So our uh, systems and technology has been used across uh, 15 uh, countries. Well, I so I have 20 <coughs> seconds left. Uh, all right, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, I will just stop here. Uh, we are at the... Uh, South Campus National Weather Centers, and uh, you are welcome to stop by. Thank you so much. All right, thank you.